Hello viewers, welcome to Magyar's Chemistry Classes. In this presentation, we will discuss about PGTRB Unit 5 and related questions those asked in previous year's PGTRB examinations. Let us move into the question part. The first one is which one is not Gibbs Duham equation. So various options is given. So yeah, the Gibbs Duhan equations the question type. So the Kumala is the Gibbs Duham equation in the physical property related to the other thing clear at the Jana in the Mary questions you see approach money. General number physical properties. Mukema extensive properties in a method. So properties la intensive and extensive properties. Extensive properties of Dingra mass related, intensive properties independent of mass. For example, or enthalpy of it's another mass dependent or put one molecule or two moles. But density, boiling point and the marine mass dependent mass independent. So on the marine properties, intensive properties. So extensive properties are in the Gibbs Duham equations on the room. Then for open system. So one by one by the other copy algorithm. So open system of Dingham Bodang on the Nakam Janam look matters on the exchange of then it is applicable to the extensive properties not your intensive properties for example in a open system there may be a matter being exchanged with the surroundings so we need partial molar quantity how extent it is uh, um, distributed okay so in general the free energy function g is a function of temperature pressure and the number of moles it may be first one second component to the eighth component so what is this partial molar free energy partial molar free energy it is differentiated with respect to the number of moles that is component one at the remaining terms temperature pressure and the n2 to n I think is constant okay so this Partial differentiation is a partial molar free energy. Like this, we have different partial molar quantities for extensive properties. For example, EI, internal energy. Suppose the internal energy, so it is given partial molar internal energy. So this is equal to dou E by dou Ni, that is i component. So what is the remaining terms constant here? The entropy and the volume and N1, N2, N3, so on. So it is called a partial molar internal energy. Okay. You can write partial molar enthalpy. The symbol is HI bar. This is equal to do h upon do n i so it is a constant pressure so the terms are entropy and the pressure is constant and the remaining thing n1 n2 so, so it is called partial molar enthalpy you can write partial molar work function that is helmholtz work function that is a bar so work function partial molar work function this is equal to do a by do n i so what are the terms is constants here the temperature volume n1 to n2 n3 so likewise we can write various partial molar properties so what is the necessity of this partial molar properties introduced here open system extensive properties and here. the partial molar free energy particularly the partial molar free energy this term the doji is called the chemical potential the i subjects 
and this partial molar free energy variation is explained by the scientist gibbs duham equation and here what are the terms are correct different terms are given what are the terms are correct dg nm dg is equal to do g by 12 over components do g by do t so what are the various terms constant the pressure um, n1 n2 to n9 plus do g by do p so constant temperature constant pressure where other terms are t n1 n2 to n9 plus do g by do n1 first component okay so is n1 so various term other terms pressure volume n1 is n2 3 to n i is a mari at the time do g by do n2 d n2 the pressure volume n1 n3 from the n i so the variation of the equation so the variation of free energy against temperature in the time so change in free energy against temperature is given by the term minus s so it will be minus sdt plus the change in free energy against uh, pressure is given as v so it will be vdp plus do g by do n so this is the variation of free energy against the first component so it is nothing it is a chemical potential so mu n1 d n1 okay similarly it will be mu of n2 d n2 plus how do you put it okay is the equation at constant temperature and the pressure so the render time on the guy there so in the case lab now the dg is equal to mu n1 d n1 plus mu n2 d n2 in the mario so the other one to go i to come on so another simpler the summation of mu n i d n9 okay wa is the another question la in the equation the terms on the another one the other one the gifts to the equation how did that okay is the equation one and a check various form of gibbs diffham equations every other is a being a car and the control so you go to format every other one so mathematically the integrate pundra no student integrate pundra number than i raise g g and b constant temperature pressure is equal to so the gibbs diffham equation of various forms and i'm going to be correct okay in the equation i just turn up on top and i integrate point on integrating integrate pundra number of the g at constant temperature pressure is equal to in the time and now mu 1 d n 1 plus mu 2 d n 2 plus mu 3 d n 3 plus how do you put so the equation number 2 no chikla in the equation equation 2 no man up and differentiate control so, this is the various forms of the D G by D G by constant temperature and pressure. So, you method is the first term, mu 1 D N 1 plus N 1 D mu 1. First term, at the time, mu 2 D N 2 plus N 2 D mu 2 is how to do this equation 3 in a chicken equation of the over a time cell on a side of the other than a mu 1 d n 1 plus mu 2 d n 2 plus uh is over a time plus m 1 d mu 1 plus n 2 d mu 2 so the eighth common under an open the function in the equation of the the mu n1 d1 mu n2 d2 is equal to 1 of being the first comparison like first equation in the equation so mu1 dn1 mu2 n2 d2 dg in the number of the 
அப்ப இந்த டைம் என்ன இந்த டைம் வந்து ஜீரோன்னு ஆயிரும் இந்த டைம் வந்து நேரம் கூட சரி ஸோ யூ கேன் ரைட் லைக் திஸ் தட் இஸ் சமேஷன் ஆஃப் என் ஒன் என் ஐ டி மியூ ஐ இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஜீரோ ஸோ இந்த ஃபார்மேட்டை மியூ என் ஐன்னு எழுதுறது இங்கே டியூ மியூ ஐ அண்ட் டிஃபினேஷன் அப்படி மாற்றி எழுதுனாலும் அந்த டேம்ஸ் வந்து நமக்கு வந்து ஜீரோ ஸோ இதுதான் கிஃப்ட் டிஃபம் ஈக்குவேஷனுடைய வெவ்வேறு ஃபார்மேட் ஓகேவா இப்போ நம்ம கொஸ்டினுக்கு வரலாம் இப்போ கொஸ்டினில் வரக்கூடிய இது வந்து நமக்கு இங்கே என்ஐ டி மியூ ஐஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் கிஃப்ட் டிஃபம் ஈக்குவேஷன் ஸோ சம்மேஷன் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ gives you then and here it is this zero but in this case the mole fraction is given so this is not your gibbs dewham equation so gibbs dewham equation abingirathu which relates the chemical potential to the component so in the case la very simple chemical potential irukku component irukku chemical potential number of moles irukku chemical potential irukku idu component irukku so i j different kudutha one nama என்ன பண்ணிடும் ஸோ இது ஆன்சராக இருக்கும் அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி இல்லை ஸோ கெமிக்கல் மோல் ஃப்ராக்ஷன் இந்த இடத்துல கொடுத்துருக்காங்க நம்பர் ஆஃப் மோல்ஸ் தான் எழுதணும் ஸோ ஆன்சர் இஸ் டி விச் ஒன் இஸ் நாட் த கிப்ஸ் டி ஃபார் இக்வேஷன் இஸ் கிளியர் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் த சிபி அண்ட் சிவி ஆர் ரிலேட்டட் வித் ஆல்ஃபா அண்ட் பீட்டா ஆல்ஃபானா என்ன பீட்டானா என்ன சிபினா என்ன சிவினா என்ன ஸோ அது பார்க்கலாம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சிபி சிபி அப்படிங்கிறது ஹீட் கெப்பாசிட்டி at constant pressure cv heat capacity at constant volume in the alpha beta idala thermodynamic coefficients alpha eduthu sonna it is the coefficient of expansion the expansion coefficient பீட்டா எடுத்துக்கிட்டோம் அப்படின்னு சொன்னா ஐசோதெர்மல் கம்ப்ரஸிபிலிட்டி கொஃபிஷியன்ட் கம்ப்ரஸிபிலிட்டி ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் ஸோ இன் ஜென்ரல் சிபி இது ஃபெமிலர் ஈக்குவேஷன் சிபி மைனஸ் சிவி இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஆர் இட் இஸ் த மேயஸ் ஈக்குவேஷன் இது ஒரு டேம் இப்படி ரிலேட் பண்ணலாம் சிபி அண்ட் சிவி இப்போ ஜென்ரலாக என்ன இருக்குது இல்லை சிபி வந்து சிவியை விட கிரேட்டராக இருக்கு இப்போ ரியல் கேஸுக்கு நம்ம எழுதுறதா இருந்தால் ஸோ செகண்ட் எப்படி எடுக்கணும்னா சிபி மைனஸ் சிவி இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஆர் இன்ட்டு ஒன் ப்ளஸ் டூ ஏ அப்பான் ஆர் டி இன்ட்டு வி இந்த ஏ அப்படிங்கிறதுனா வேண்ட்ரவல்ஸ் கான்ஸ்டன் இது வந்து ரியல் கேஸ் ஃபார் ரியல் கேஸ் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட்டு நம்ம கொடுத்துருக்கிறது ஐடியல் கேஸ்க்கு for ideal gas so idu or relation indha mari relation sanga inga kodukala so indha factor appadi nama enna pandrona coefficient kuda relate pannum bodhu enna relations varudhu appdi paathinga na moona relation cp minus cv is equal to alpha square t into v into v upon beta so examination point of view this is the relation so the answer is b இது போக மேக்ஸ்வெல் ரிலேஷன்ஸ் அப்படிங்கிறது சிபி அண்ட் சிவிக்கு இருக்கு ஸோ அது நமக்கு எடுத்துக்கலாம் சிபி மைனஸ் சிவி இந்த ஆறுக்கு பதிலாக மேக்ஸ் மேக்ஸ்வெல் ரிலேஷன்ஸ் அப்ளை பண்றோம் டெம்பரேச்சர் டோ பி பை டோ டி அட் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் வால்யூம் இன்ட்ரு டோ வி பை டோ டி அட் கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரெஷர் இது மேக்ஸ்வெல் ரிலேஷன் Okay, here your answer is Cp minus Cv is equal to alpha square Tv upon beta. Next one.
which one among the following is not good adsorbent idu vande namak analytical chemistry nda kekkuri question so familiar one silica gel charcoal alumina is the adsorbent is a direct question ammonia is the, is not a adsorbent so your answer is d it's a direct question so alumina al2 is a very good adsorbent charcoal activated charcoal and silica are the important adsorbent rf value is always 0 10 less than 1 greater than 1 so id analytical chemistry chromatography abingra topic la undu irukke the rf values undungiradhu enna abingiradhu eduthirunga rf is the retention factor the retention factor is eppadi define pandra abadana modhal idu undu endha maana chromatography ku idu use aagudhu paper chromatography and thin layer chromatography is so so all the solvent on the solution on the papers la move agirad adu vechi paakrad so idu eppadi abadina na so experiment abingiradala ungalku idea irukum so only the concept the distance traveled by the solute on the paper la and the number the purify panna koodiya compound vandu endha alavukku travel pannirukku abingiradhu kuduthirukom so epdi eduthinga na idu paper arthin layer idula namakku irukku koodiya idu vandu start line abingiradhu idu vandu start line idu vandu indha area vandu nama enna solrom solvent front adha idu vara adha enna pandrathu move aagirathu so inga various substances vandu nama endha nadathula vechirukrom for example indha substance vandu oru a idu b adhe mari idu vandu c indha mari moonu different substances irukku idhula enna pannalam appadina indha c idu vandu a idu b c a ingra substance vandu indha thara move aayirukalam b ingra substance inga move aayirukku nichirunga c ingra substance vandu ivula dhaan move aayirukku so distance traveled by the solute this is distance traveled by the a distance traveled by c distance traveled by b so it is a and it is b and it is c so in that way it is called distance traveled by solute upon distance traveled by your solvent okay solvent front enga irukku inga irukku so and the value enga irukku denominator irukku so this is equal to so for example a ku eduthukalam ஏக்கு வந்து இந்த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் அது என்ன பண்ணி இருக்கும் ஆயிருக்கு ஆனா சால்வெண்ட் ஃப்ரண்ட் வந்து அதிகமா இருக்கு சோ திஸ் வேல்யூ இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் லெஸ் தென் ஒன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்லி இட் இஸ் லெஸ் தென் ஒன் ரைட் ஏன்னா டினாமிட்டர் வேல்யூஸ் வந்து உங்களுக்கு அதிகமா இருக்கு நியூமரேட்டர் வேல்யூஸ் வந்து கம்மியா இருக்கு சோ இட் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் லெஸ் தென் ஒன் சோ திஸ் இஸ் யுவர் ஆன்சர் ஓகே சோ இதுல நம்ம என்ன தெரிஞ்சு வச்சுக்கணும் அப்படின்னா இன்கேஸ் வந்து உங்களுக்கு வந்து சால்வெண்டருடைய போலாரிட்டி வந்து அதிகமா இருக்கு solvent ude polarity adhigama irukum bodu so if the solvent polarity is maximum adanal enna panna mudiyadhu and the solvent front oda values vandu anger ku kudiya values vandu endha ku vandralam appadina ungalku indha pakkama vandralam solvent front vandu initial ah inga irukuna when it is high polar solvent what happens this value is decreases appo namakku denominator values vandu decrease aagudhu so and the case la rf is equal to 1 when high polar abbi irukum bodu because it competes better with the stationary phase adu kuda adhigama interact aagradhanal the moving kolanjirum so equation er kudiya denominator la values undu kammi aagum so rf is equal to 1 so innor case eduthukonga if the polarity polarity of the solute is substance is less in the case la the substance vandu adude polarity polarity of the substance adha solute substance polarity decreases polarity decrease aachina enna agum adoda movement vandu adhigamaiyirukku illaya appo rf value vandu value enna agum increase agum so idoda movement adhigam aagum bodhu numerator la la value increase agudhu so rf value vandu increase agum so substance polarity decreases rf value increases okay so rf value vachi nama polarity la nama kandupidikalam So in this case, RF is always less than one. 
in some cases the rf is equal to 1 which is measured in differential thermal analysis thermal analysis la namak irukkuriyadhu and important thermal analysis and uh, differential thermal analysis differential gravimetric analysis dsc and the fourth one is evolved gas analysis so the differential thermal analysis differential thermal analysis it is a difference in temperature between the sample and a reference sample irukke or reference irukke indha rendu kadalulla temperature difference with delta t so delta t is equal to tr minus ts the temperature of the reference and the temperature of the substance in the delta t a temperature ka against nama vandu or graph vandu varachona idu graph irukke so time kudukla appadi illana chala case of temperature t the graph actually eppadi irukku appadi pathinga the normal temperature idula chala case la the temperature vandu adhigama pogi rendu kula difference eppadi irukku so the normal differential thermal analysis so in the graph nam enna eduthukonna indha edathula vandu temperature vandu rise a irukke so the difference is exothermic and here it is endothermic so in the studies nam enna panna idu vachi or or substance vandu endha case la vandu decompose avudhu endha case la crystallize avudhu endha case la glass transition temperature avudhu abdingra details paakalam so here the it is measured the differential thermal analysis it is against the change in temperature gravimetric analysis change in weight tga for answer is b next one one mole of an ideal gas is heated from 31 degrees celsius to 639 degrees celsius in a closed container if cv is 5.05 the value of del s is the entropy statement and the entropy times is in means of so entropy concept ingiradhu second law of thermodynamics la undu varakudiyadhu so entropy is defined as del s is equal to change in heat against temperature in the irreversible process in the entropy of the statement first of thermodynamics and dq is equal to change in free energy and pressure volume work so the equation at tl divide pandrom edukana the del s for edukana t de by t and dw by t so various formats of the substitute panirala so del s is equal to change in free change in internal energy at constant volume so in the terms in all the na n and the specific capacity at constant volume into dt upon d plus the pressure volume work so p into dv by t in the p dv by t so idu ekku expand pannalam p is equal to n rt so p is equal to nrt by v in the values on the equation we substitute pandru dq by t is equal to n cv dt by t plus p in the value ku pola nrt by v into dv by t so dt cancel we can do that So this is equal to n C V D T by V plus n R D V by V. Upon integration, D Q by T T one T two limit. This is equal to n C V T two plus n r dv by v v1 into it this is 
the list and it will be ncv into lawn t2 upon t1 plus nr lawn v2 by v1 so this is the basic equation to find out the list well. in this question the one mole of an ideal gas is heated from the temperature variant in a closed container so in a closed container del v is equal to 0 that is v2 and uh, v1 is same so this term is vanished here you get del s is equal to ncv ln t2 by t1 in the case of closed container so by substituting this value for instead of n it is 1 1 and the cv is equal to 5.05 ln t2 in kelvin 912 divided by t1 so this is the del s and the t2 value your answer is a yeah. change of free energy and change of entropy are related as so the basic question the free energy is del g this is equal to del h minus t delta s your answer is second is a direct question chemical potential is the increase in the gas at constant temperature and pressure when one mole of the constant is added to the system so first slide and our discussion on partial molar free energy and its chemical potential so d g by n1 dg change in free energy when one mole of the component is added at constant temperature and pressure and other components are constant okay so this is nothing it is the chemical potential of the first component here the chemical potential is the increase in the gas what is that that is dg at constant temperature and pressure and when one mole of the constant is added to the system so in this case it is chemical potential so chemical potential related to the free energy your answer is d okay so we have already discussed in the first slide also okay viewers this is the end of our slide i hope that the explanation given here are very useful to you thank you for watching